Hello, this is my how-to video on installing homebrew enabled mode for the PSP Go specifically, but this also works on, I think, all current PSPs to date. Uh, there's different files, but it's all the same exact process. Alright, so step one. This is the simplest installer you'll ever do. You don't need the Patapond exploit anymore. Uh, it's built into it. So the simplest possible exploit I've ever done. First off, you're going to go to Wolo's website, the guys who created the uh, half byte loader. First link in the description, and it'll take you to this page. I'm going to turn my camera to macro so I can show you what we're doing here. Alrighty. So that's where we are now, and this is what you should see. Bunch of advertisements, homebrew enabler. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And you can see it's 6.2, 6.3, 6.31, 6.35, 6 6.36. 6 so I'm doing this for 6.2, so I'm going to go ahead and click on 6.2. That takes me to here. A bunch more advertisements. And 6.2. This is. Total Noobs Hen C. It'll be downloading, but I don't want to download that link because that's mega uploader. And that shit's annoying. Alright, so we save file. Uh, if you didn't see where I clicked here, right underneath the obligatory ad, says downloads, blah 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 blah. Alternate link. I clicked on the alternate link because that's a direct link from their site. And we are going to open the file. Uh, at this point, make sure you have your PSP connected and you know how to access it. So you open the file directly and this is what you get. So I'm going to minimize my browser. So we just have this window. And I'm going to open up my computer on the side here. So here's my PSP. Standard files. So we just drag PSP from here, which is what we opened. Drop it into here. It's going to ask me if I want to merge the files. Absolutely. There we are. Homebrew loader's over there. Now, before we do anything else, if you want to play ISO games, you're going to need an enabler for ISO. Second link in the description. Boom. That takes us to PSP Hacks. We'll copy this. Pop that baby into a new tab in my browser. As you can see, again, we're going here. Don't worry, second link in the description. And blah, blah, blah. Prometheus ISO loader. So we go down, click the download, and again, same deal, open, and our window comes up again. So this time on your PSP, same deal. Your PSP looks like this, as I showed before. You might have more folders, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. You go into PSP, and then you're going to want to go into game, and I already have it right there. But you just drag from there to there. It'll ask you if you want to merge the files. I click yes. And I'm going to tell it to move and replace all of these files. That way you can see there's nothing different here. Now, when you're using this, you want to. Oops. Now, when you're using this, you want to put all your ISOs and CSO files into the ISO folder on the root of your memory stick uh, with the rest of this uh, homebrew enabler runs the exact same way you put your stuff into the games alright so everything has been transferred over to the PSP so the rest of this video will take place on my PSP if I can find my controller alright so I'm going to set my camera down so I can unplug my PSP <coughs> and basically 
this to set this baby up. Alright, that's beautiful. So I am going to We are going to game. TN homebrew enabler, you can see there. You run that file. <coughs> Screen will go blank, and then you'll end up back at the cross media bar. Like so. Now I will show you system settings, system information, version 6.2 TMC. Which is the newest version, which means that you don't need the stupid pad upon exploit. As far as I understand, A and B, you did need the exploit still. <coughs> now we go into here. The next one is Prometheus. change your ISO mode, change your directory. I haven't been able to change the directory, but so long as you've got the ISOs on the root. And then uh, you press X to load them, so you select the game. I'm gonna pick uh, Soul Calibur. Just cause you know, if you want to really like Soul Calibur. Saves that automatically. And booyah, there you go. ISO is running. Actually, this is a CSO. CSO is running on the PSP Go. Running homebrew enabled mode. Uh, this specific uh, uh, homebrew enabler came out on the 21st of January, I believe. The C revision. And I think that's the first one that allows you to do it without the pad upon the exploit. So, enjoy. Um, I would like to make note that if you like my videos, and apparently many of you do, I'm not saying I'm shocked, I'm happy. If you like my videos, do me a favor and go to my website. Boom. Bonesnumber1.com. This is actually my tutorial on custom firmware for PS3. If you want to check it out, be my guest. I will leave a link, that's link number three in the description, to my homepage. And not this one. You can search for it quite simply. In fact, actually, it's still on the homepage. But do me a favor, go to the site, maybe click a link or two. No, uh, no skin off your back, and it helps me out. Alright? Catch you later, tube.